Hi everyone, my name is Colleen Miron and I am the executive producer of MCTV. We are on the second floor of Cushing in the TV studio where our main anchors and segment anchors get to film their segments for the show. Interested in seeing how we produce a show for you guys? Stick around and we'll show you. Join me and the entire MCTV production team for the next 10 minutes as we bring you along from start to finish the production of our second show of the semester. Well, that's all we have for you today. Be sure to keep an eye out for more MCTV news to come. Enjoy your winter break and as always, be safe warriors. Let's rewind all the way back to October 19th as we have our first pre-production meeting planning our second show of the semester. So let's just, we'll just start things off now. And then once people kind of roll in, we can let them in and they can just kind of chime in wherever. Um, but this is going to be, again, just kind of going over kind of ideas for the show. So and for main segments stuff, I have so far what I read before, plus Nicole's writer's house story. We can totally add to that. Um, if there's no other ideas right now, that's totally fine. But if you want to brainstorm other like school newsy kind of stories, if anyone's interested in covering those. The planning stage of our shows usually takes two to three weeks, consisting of 30 minute to an hour long meetings that safely take place over Zoom, where we all come up with ideas for what we want to cover on the upcoming show. Um, I don't know if this is something that anyone else would be interested in, but I know that they sent something out about Mary, like the police dog, having its like one year birthday party tomorrow. So I was free, so I was thinking about filming that just like as a cute short little clip. Um, short tiny package of that just adds some slight good positive news. So. Yes, do it. That would okay. be so great. Yeah, literally, again, you can just edit together like Mary's birthday. Like we covered Mary's birthday. Like this is what happened. Cool. Um, that'd be really good. That's perfect. okay. I'm gonna I that. think Olivia and I are going to work on that. So. Yes. Okay. Um, so, Chris, this is more for you. I guess like our what our vision was and like because um, we have, we can like wrote like a few articles about voting, so like we would be more than happy to like put this on our website as well. But um, our goal was like maybe just like a 30 to 45 second video and just... Coming up with ideas for the show usually isn't that hard as MCTV partners with The Beacon, Merrimack student newspaper, which enables us to bring school news to students via print and video. The added advantage to this is that many of the writers also are a part of MCTV, providing a seamless transition from print to paper and giving students opportunities to truly boost their portfolios in both fields. Student anchors are responsible for writing their own scripts and are assisted by myself as the president and executive producer of the club and my partner and vice president, Nicole Fasciano, for grammatical and technical guidance. Planning of these shows usually break off into three different sections, school news, sports news, and finally extra content, most notably and a fan favorite, the monthly reading and interpretation of Merrimack College's monthly police log. For the November edition of our show, our lead story was coverage of our school's latest COVID numbers and how the college is dealing with the impacts and ongoing pandemic. Other stories we decided to cover were Mac Gives Back, Athlete Mental Health, Mary's birthday celebration, and an MCTV special, COVID Diaries. That's right, even MCTV wasn't immune to the coronavirus. As we moved into sports, our stories tend to be very limited as no college athletics at Merrimack are happening. So we tend to focus more on intramurals, latest updates from the NEC and Hockey East, and then finally, some good old professional sports. Finally, our extra content tends to consist of the annual reading of the police log by host Alex Conti and an MCTV staple, The Question on the Quad. I was lucky enough to roam around on campus for this segment, asking my fellow warriors what their favorite holiday tradition is. Once the planning for our show is complete, it's time to head to the studio and out in the field to bring the scripts to life. MCTV News. I hope your semesters are wrapping up well. Bringing MCTV News to life is a lot more than simply hitting the record button. 
It takes a team of deeply passionate and hardworking students of the organization to make each show flow smoothly. Production of each show starts in the studio as videographers Chris Dolan, Gabby Eckerd, Nick Fasoli, and Olivia Piazza lead the charge in setting up the studio for the segment at hand. This consists of setting up lights, correcting camera angles, miking up our hosts, and any other small set details that may arise on the day of production. As we head back to the control room, here is where you'll typically find technical directors Sean McAvoy and Gina Levine, who are our show's control room team switching between cameras, adjusting audio levels, changing and tweaking light exposure, and most importantly, hitting that record button. All of our anchors turn their scripts into the producers for the show, and once approved, they are put onto our studio teleprompters for reading during their segments. Once they're all mic'd up and ready to go, those anchors will get that famous five, four, three, two, one countdown, and they will go live. These segments will typically be filmed over a two or three week time period, whenever members are available to film their segments. In addition to our in-studio segments, we'll also have our field packages. Here, we'll typically have an anchor, videographer, and sometimes a personal hype man as we head out to the field to report on a newsworthy topic. In addition to our school news program, club members Nick Fasoli, along with on-air talents Matt Gagnon and Mike Legage, produce MCTV's Fantasy Factor, a weekly YouTube series highlighting their picks for fantasy football and hopefully leading you to a winning season. Hey guys, I'm Nick Fasoli, I'm the producer of Fantasy Factor here for MCTV, and I'm the guy that runs the switchboards, uh, controls the cameras, sets up uh, most of the stuff alongside Chris in the studio, and we're just about to get into Fantasy Factor, what is it, week 10, Chris? Yeah, week 10. So here we go. We're here filming Fantasy Factor, we do it every week, we have a lot of fun, so turn in, YouTube. Once filming is complete, it's time to take the footage off the control room hard drives, and head to the editing room, where Chief Editor Chris Dolan will compile all of the show elements together and produce the latest edition of MCTV News. Field packages typically are edited by the videographers who go out and film the segments. Gabby and Olivia had the opportunity to attend Mary's first birthday party and put together their package for the latest installment of MCTV News. Typically, Chris is responsible for gathering all packages recorded in the field, securing the footage from the studio, and then adding on screen graphics, pictures, videos, and even the newest addition to the MCTV shows, the news ticker you see at the bottom of the screen. While in the final production stages, Chris will collaborate with our social media team of content director Gina Levine and social media director Brie Alberghini in creating content to be posted on our social media pages such as Instagram and Twitter. Once posted, the entire club chips in to do their part and spread the word, typically sharing it to their stories or even retweeting. We post smaller clips of our segment to our various different social media platforms to introduce our show to the public and direct the Merrimack community to our YouTube page where they can see the full show. Coming up on MCTV News. Mac Gives Back is one of Merrimack College's most beloved traditions. From faculty, students, and staff all coming together, it's a great event that we put on. With no end. Well, that's all we have for you today. Be sure to keep an eye out for more MCTV news to come. Enjoy your winter break, and as always, be safe, Warriors. And there you have it, the start to finish process of how we bring MCTV news to life. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of our club, and be sure to be on the lookout for more content coming soon. For Merrimack College Television, I'm Colleen Miron. Stay safe, Warriors.